Day 13 of pulling up with your kitty, where we release the things that no longer serve us, release the trauma and emotional energy that is stored within the walls of your hips that you no longer need in order to move forward. It's holding you back. We don't need it anymore. We're learning how to move past these emotions, to learn from them, to really sit and reflect on how it feels in our body. So that way we can release it and acknowledge and understand what it feels like when we are in our power and when we are not aligning our mind and our body to higher spirit so we can move forward and go towards the purpose that God has intended for us in this life. Yeah, let's do it. It's day 13. We're one day away from finishing this journey. I'm kind of sad. I was really getting into the groove, but that's not to say we could have more, you know, journeys together later on. Let's get into child's pose before I bribe you into doing another journey with me. All right, sending your hips back. Let's start with the really wide child's pose. So your toes are out and you're having your knees in line with your hips. And let's do the rock. The rock really feels good, just to like getting it nice and warmed up for today's class. So the word for today is focus. We are one day away from finishing this journey, this process together and Ask yourself, where's your focus? Now that it's about to finish, where is your focus right now? Because that's really important to step into the next phase of your life. And a lot of the times when you're on this healing journey, the focus is on the healing. The focus is on the trauma. The focus is on the things that you no longer want in your life. And that's kind of like a slippery slope to be in. It's kind of sticky because yes, you want to focus on the things you no longer want in your life. Um, that's what the journal entries are for, for you to sit down, be with yourself, write it out, make it real as you write, reflect and look at the things that you no longer want in your life that you hold within you or that is in your environment. And that's your time to reflect and that's your time to focus on the trauma. But when you're in this healing process, it's very easy to think that if all your energy is not invested in doing the work, that you're not truly wanting to get better. Um, and that's not true because you are doing the work. Let's see how now you can redirect that focus to what you do want instead of no longer what you don't want. What do you want right now for your life? What does your dream life look like? What, what does it feel like? What does it look like? Who are you in that dream life? And maybe for these next 30 minutes, while we work here together, you become that dream person. The woman, the man, the being that you are, who is that person? Be that, focus on that, yeah? Let's walk our hands towards our knees and slowly get those knees together. Ah, okay, now we're getting into that figure four. Figure four is when your left knee is aligned with your right foot right in front of you. They run parallel. And we've been going with our hands back behind us, nice proud chest, and windshield wiper side to side. As you're doing this, you're pressing your hips forward. You're nice and proud with your chest, and you're pretty like delicate on your fingers. You're not just like dumping your weight back here. You're trying to stay up and right, so that way your hips have an opportunity to move side to side. Now, if this is already like, <laughs> been there, done that, take your hands off and start to go side to side. The next phase of this is that we'll work on maybe in another, another uh, series together is really developing these hips to be super strong. We've been working on them to open them up and release the things that are stored in there, the emotions, but then it's really about strength and mobility. Can you press forward and Coming back around, press. Ooh, my angle just snapped. Okay. Now, let's do one more on each side. We're just warming up the hips before we do the work. And whatever side you're on, just drop back down to your butt. Take your hands onto the floor. And let's get into a really wide sumo like malasana, where we're really down onto the floor. So your toes are gonna go wide, your heels turn in. You're in this really low squat. Your butt is almost like about to touch the floor. All right, now walk your hands forward. You're gonna get into a plank. 
knees go in line with your toes. Take your right foot step forward. Open up your right arm, inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Step the right foot back into your plank. Walk your hands back, turn your toes out, you're back into that squat. It's okay if your heels stay off for this portion because we're gonna be moving fast through this. Walk it forward, you're back in your plank. Left leg steps forward, left arm up. Inhale, exhale, bring it down. Right, left foot steps back, get back into that deep squat. Toes turn out, arms come off. Press your hips out, knees out, walk it forward. Right foot forward. Exhale, bring it down. Right foot back, walk it back. Deep squat, hands come off. And walk it forward. Left leg forward, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Step it back, back into your squat. You have one more on each side. Walk it forward. Right leg, inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Walk it back. All right, so you have one more squat. This walk out first and then your last squat. Left side. Bring it back to center. Walk it back. Stay low, hold. Three, two, one. Walk it forward, downward dog. Oh, pedal out your legs. One knee bends at a time. The opposite heel goes towards the floor. And walk your hands towards your feet, nice and slow. One vertebrae at a time, you come on up to stand. All right, so standing in front, you're gonna have your heels together, toes apart. Take your right leg, actually let's start forward. Have your toes looking forward. You're gonna take your arms up overhead. Can you pick up your right leg? Big circle, land it. So it's the circle happening with the knee. Knee comes up, circle it around, bring it around and drop. You're pressing your heel so hard into the floor. You're reaching up high to the ceiling and then whoosh, lock this round so where there's no arching in the back, it's whoosh, locked in. Bring it on up, whoosh, land it. This standing leg, hip is pressing forward. You have a micro bend in this knee. If you were locked fully, you would kind of be all over the place. If you have a little bend for stability, just to keep a nice balance in you, this is gonna keep you exactly where you need to be at all times as this leg moves, yeah? So arms up, let's do 10 on the right. Little bend in the left knee, press the hips forward. You have 10. And just opening up trying to get really high and around. <sighs> maybe be swift with it or maybe go slow. Halfway there. Arms can come down to your chest if that need be. Hands can go to your, your hips. Eh, it kind of weighs me down, so I like it up. Last one. And now the left leg. So now I lock my right heel into the floor. Little bend in my right knee, round the lower back. Arms reach up high. Big circle. Getting those hips to say hello, good morning, America. All right, last two, last one, and land it in place. Facing forward, you're in position one, so those heels are together, toes are apart. Round your lower back, your core is tight, and your shoulder blades are squeezing back behind you. We're gonna start with these popping the balloons under us. So take your right heel up, left leg is locked and loaded with a little bend in the knee, hips are pressed forward, pop the balloon. Bend, pop. You're alternating between your right and your left, and you're trying to stay nice and high through your hips. Shoulder blades are squeezing, core is tight. And every time that you pop the heel, every part of your inner thigh, inner knee, inner calves are smushing into each other. It needs to feel like a suction cup, sucking them together. If you just feel like you're just slapping your leg, then you're not activating your muscles. Think of both of them slamming into each other as you pop, yeah? So you're rounding your lower back. Arms can go up overhead too. 
pop, pop. Everything smushes into the legs as you pop. Yeah, so go ahead at your pace. Round the lower back, core is tight, popping, popping, popping. I am squeezing my AS so much. I'm not cursing, I'm not cursing. I'm squeezing my AS so much right now. Round your lower back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. This doesn't feel like much work. We're just activating those muscles so they understand what is about to happen. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now you can get over to one edge of your mat. We're gonna get into that sumo position, going out into that long, big step. You're gonna get low, round your lower back, no arching in your back. Do a little wind. So if you stepped out with your right, go ahead and wind right to left. Come back up, squeeze the thighs into each other, they pop. This is what we'll continually do. Step out, right to left. Mm, let's do left to right. Left to right feels better. Step out, left to right. Bring it back in, squeeze. Step out, left to right, bring it back in and squeeze. Cool? We're going for 10. In three, heels together. In two, toes apart, nice and long. Round your lower back, keep your core tight, boobies up. In three, two, one, step it out. Left to right, sweep, squeeze, down. Left to right, yes. Good. Make your boyfriend do this. I wanna see them do this. They need it too. We all need to open up our hips. Give yourself two more. Last one. Now stay up, micro bend in both knees, round your lower back, chest nice and proud. Lift your right heel off the floor, squeeze your left glute as much as you can. Arms are reaching out in front of you, lift the heel. Hips are looking forward. Ooh, lock up if you need to. Keep going. What a throw without me. Leave me behind. I'm just trying to perfect my form. Long leg. Lift the heel. You have the straightest leg in the world right now. In three, two, one. Step it back behind you. You're getting into a lunge. Find it. Slide that leg back. Squeeze the thighs into each other. Round the lower back to come on up. Right arm reaches the floor. Rotate. Tap the floor, come back up. Now we're gonna actually use the leg a little bit for this one, so drop the back knee. Take your time, rotating. Slowly coming back up. Two more, rotate. Ooh, one more time. Hands to the floor. Take your back leg and kick up, lower back down, knee drops to the floor, head goes to the shin, slowly back down, head to shin, kick it up, you have three more, two, and one, land it back behind you, drop the knee, and extend forward, toes pointing towards your face, come up halfway, and Come on over that leg. Walk your hands forward. Pick up your back leg, rotate it in. You walk your hands to center, side to side. Lengthening one leg, bending the other. Letting your hands even kind of go side to side too if you want. For three, two, one slowly one vertebrae at a time come on up okay heels are back together now you're going to step out to the left side you go with your hips right to left roll it back up stand back up big sumo squat left to right roll squeeze come back up we do 10. in three two one bring it out Right to left, scoop. Thighs pop into each other, squeeze every single muscle that you possibly can in your legs. Activate them, down. <sighs> round and round, scoop. <sighs> Arms can really do whatever, just make sure your shoulder blades are squeezing back behind you and you're having a proud chest. <sighs> round it. <sighs> hey, hey. Um, 
bust wine. Sorry, I just added double. If you wanna do double, do double with me. It feels good. You have two more. Last one. Okay, now keep it up, stay up. Lock this right leg, round your lower back, squeeze your glutes so much. Lift that left leg up, you're a ballerina. Longest leg in the world. Point the toes towards your face, flex them, and lift, lift, lift. Squeeze that right glute to stay up for four, three, two, bring that leg behind you. Land the hands onto the floor, point your toes at 12 o'clock. Squeeze the thighs into each other. Let me turn for you. And slowly, slowly, slowly coming up. Arms come up overhead, back leg is straight. Take your left arm towards the floor. And let's go. Rotate, drop the back knee a little bit, slowly come back up. Woo. Pressing your hips forward, rounding your lower back. Press through your right toe and right heel. You have two more. Round your lower back, core tight. Ah, last one, last one, fight for it. Fight for it. Hands come up, drop the hands to the floor, back knee drops. Your head goes towards your shin as your leg kicks up to the sky in three, two, one. Kick it up, back down to the floor. You're trying to get your head to your knee as you lift, leg goes up to the sky. Last two. You should feel this in your right glute right now. Last one and land it, come on up, leg is straight, and fold on top, toes are flexed towards your face, slowly walk your hands forward, pick up the back knee, rotate and pivot over to the center of the room, and go side to side, You can come up with your hands. You can twist with your hands. However you want to move. It's your class. I'm just your tour guide today. All right. We stop in three, two, one, and grab some water. So we're getting back onto the floor. And now let's take our right hip on the floor. Do you remember how we found it last time? You're kind of like just like rocking side to side, trying to find your hip bone. I found mine, I think. Eh? Yep, there it is. I'm on my elbow and my wrist, making a fist with my hand. And now take your legs to straighten out fully, flex your toes towards your face. Arm can be up overhead, it can be onto the floor, it can be on your hip. Keep it on your hip maybe so you can keep your shoulder blades squeezing and ensuring that you're staying upright and not like slumping over, getting tired. So let's train the body to have this core engaged and the shoulder blades squeezing. Hand on the hip, pick up your right leg in the same line as your hip. Now go forward and back with it. As you go forward and back, toes point towards your face as you go forward, push toes point away from you as you go back. You're trying to balance on this right hip as you do this. Point and flex to your face, point back, flex. Now switch it over, now you're gonna point to come up, flex to come down, point to come up, flex to come down. We're just opening up the hip a little bit and now drop a little lower, keep your shoulder blades squeezing. Take the leg forward, up, and stop in the line of your hip. So we're not gonna go behind the hip. You're going forward, up, line of your hip. Keep your hand on your hip if you need to. Forward, up, line of your hip. Forward, up, line of your hip. Two more this direction. You're trying to keep a very long leg, trying to balance on that right hip as you move the left. Now we're gonna go back, up, and around. Ooh. back, up, same height as your hip, right there, bring it back, up, good, two more, 
And last one happening here. <sighs> okay, bring your heels to touch, toes or apart. Bring the knee in towards your chest and push that imaginary box. It is a heavy, heavy, heavy box. It takes every little muscle in your leg to push out and then slowly pull it back in. That, it's attached to your ankle. Can you imagine pulling in 600 pounds? That would take a lot of effort. Same way to push it out. <sighs> Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, push, 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 push. You have two more. Inhale, come in. Exhale, push, 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 push. Last one. It's taking everything inside of your body to do this for you. Ready? Heaviest thing you've ever pushed in your life. And lower it down. Let's switch to the other side. All right. Left elbow on the floor. You make a fist with your wrist and your hand. Find your hip. Rock yourself side to side. Looking for that hip. Now I found it. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Nice and high onto that forearm. And let's take that left, right leg to hover off of the left, keeping it in the same line as your hip. Point the toes, flex the toes towards your face, point behind you. Flex the toes to the face, point behind you. Now switch it, point to go forward, flex to go back. Point to go forward, flex to go back. Try not to move the body too much, it's just the leg. Now hover, and let's go forward, up, and down. Forward, shoulder blade squeezing, core tight, and down. Forward, up, and down. Are you balancing on that left hip? I'm trying to find mine again, I lost it. <sighs> okay, forward, up, and down. Last one, forward, up, bring it down. Let's go backwards now, bring it back. Up, whew, and down. Take your time with it. Take your time, we're not just throwing the leg in circles. The slower you go, the more that you are helping that hip to heal, to strengthen, to open. Ooh, last one, last one. Mm, okay. Ah. I totally forgot to do the box pushes on this side, so just go do your box pushes and then come back to this. Bring it down. <sighs> Slowly walk your hands up towards you. Let's get into a downward dog, so go on to all fours. Hands are in line with your shoulders. Tuck your toes under and downward dog, press your hips back. Okay, so take your right leg up towards the sky. Now flip your right leg over to the left side of the room, pressing your hips to the right side of the room. Slowly, just hold here. You feel that stretch in your hip. Now look over your left shoulder. You should see your left toes, your right toes in the sky. Press your hips to the ceiling. Feel an extra stretch holding for three, two, one. Bring your hips to look at the floor. Drop your right leg. Let's try that on the left side. So take your left leg up. Bend your right knee. Bring your foot over to the right side. Bend your left knee. Bring your right, ah, start over. <laughs> Okay, take your left leg up. Bend your left knee. Bring your left leg over to the right side of the room with the leg bent. Now look over your right shoulder, look at your left foot. Press your hips to the ceiling a little more. Now look back at your right toes on the floor. Ooh, yes, holding for three, two, one. Bring it back to center. Okay, drop your knees to the floor. Wiggle out your wrist. Let's try something here. I think we can do it. I know you can do it, but you gotta trust yourself, okay? So, we did this yesterday. We were doing this like Spider-Man move of like bringing the leg through and taking your arm off. We're gonna do that same thing upside down. So, take your hands onto the floor. Tuck your toes under. You're in downward dog. Right leg goes up to the ceiling. Bend the right knee. Bring it over to the left side of the room. Now, as you press your hips to the sky, can you lightly take your right hand off the floor and flip, drop the leg. 
look up, open up, press the hips to the ceiling. Yeah, did you do it? Now take your hand back to the floor, take your right leg back off of the floor to flip it over your back in a single leg. Now bring it back down. Try it on your left side, left leg lifts. Bend the left knee, bring the left leg over to the right side of the room. Can you lift your left arm up to swivel and press? Ooh. And slowly come back to center. Do you wanna do one more on each side? I do, it feels good, let's do it. Right leg up and flip. Open up and back to center. Flip it around, left leg up. Flip, bend, and lift. Back to center. Leg drops, knees drop, all fours. And widen out your knees, child's pose. Good job. Yeah, you're a swan. You're a diva. You're a queen. All right. Pigeon. Get into all fours. Take your right foot forward, step it forward. Pivot and tiptoe your toes all the way over to the left side of the mat. Drop your right knee. You can either stay here or you can walk your leg back a little bit, get lower. You can keep your hands on the floor or you can bring yourself down onto your elbows. As long as both hips are looking at the floor. Or you can walk your hands all the way forward and drop your head. For three, two, one. Slowly walk your hands back towards you. Okay, lift your right knee, tuck your left toes under to lift and step it back, downward dog. Drop your knees to the floor, step your left leg forward. Walk your hands all, walk your feet over to the right side of the room. Your knee drops, you can stay here if this is too much. You can walk your right leg back a little bit. You can stay on your hands, get onto your elbows, or walk it forward. For me, my left leg is a lot tighter, my left hip, so elbows are fine for me. I'm not gonna walk it forward. I'm not gonna push it. Holding for three, two, one, hands to the floor. Pick up your left knee, tuck your right toes, and step it back. And walk your hands all the way towards your knees. Crisscross your heels behind you to drop onto your butt and bring the legs forward. Scoot yourself up. And let's point the toes to the face as we slowly, slowly, and slowly, and slowly, and slowly come down. All right. Shoulder blades are nice and loose. Your back is nice and loose. The legs are out. This is how we finish class today. Shavasana, the best part of class. After you do all that work, you redirect your, your focus to be who you want to be. How does that feel? Being the woman that you want to be, the man that you want to be the being that you want to be. How does that feel? Inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Inhale through your nose. And now start to soften up that breath. Keep it in the nose. Focus. Where can you change your focus? on no longer what you don't want anymore, on what you do want. Be her, become her, live like her. You only have a limited amount of energy a day. So don't waste all your energy, don't spend it. That's your currency, don't spend it on what you don't want, focusing what you, what you no longer want in your life. Spend that energy being the person you want to be. What is 
always guiding you to that is maybe the things that you are interested in. Maybe the people that you look up to and the, the characteristics that they have or like someone that you're inspired by. You're inspired by that person because you see yourself in that person. God wouldn't put a, an idol or a career or an idea that you have in your mind that wasn't possible. If you can think it, you can become it. So those people that you look up to, the traits that certain people have, they're like, damn, like, I kind of like that about her. Or like, I like that she does it this way. Or it's because you see yourself in that person. So instead of focusing on what you no longer want for yourself, think of how you want to be the person that you're inspired by. Use it as your, your compass of like, that's the direction I want to go, but in my way, in the way that God is calling me to go in that direction. And it might lead you to somewhere else, but as long as you're changing your focus on who you want to be, become that person, fake it, fake it for now, just be that person. The more time you spend being that person, the more that you will become it, yeah? Change your focus. Day 13, day 13, baby. What are you writing in your journal today? What are you leaving on the mat? What are you taking with you? What is your focus? What does that word focus mean to you and what is your focus now? How are you changing it? What was it before and what is it now? I'll see you tomorrow for our last day. Okay, love you all so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Deuce. Deuce and the goose. Ugh. Ah. <clears throat>